A particular human male was born approximately in 3994. This child would eventually be discovered as Force-sensitive, and, as is the case with most such children, he would be accepted into the Jedi Order. The Jedi Master Kreia became his first master, the first of many, and it would appear she knew him better than most. Perhaps I think it is fair to say that few did. Revan had a mother and father, parents, ancestors, like all Jedi do, and when he awakened to his potential, I was there to see it. But where he was born, where he came from, I do not know, any more than I know where he walks now. Some said that Revan was born in the outer regions, beyond the Rim, and that's what called to him during the Mandalorian Wars. And after, it was the call of home. He came to me, yes, both before and after, before Revan knew himself. And after, in the times when Revan was coming to his own and learning he was more than he had been told. At one time, Revan was my Padawan in times past, long ago. This young human, whose birth name remains unknown to history, trained along with a fellow student named Alec. Both received training from the Jedi Master, Ja Lestin, who in time noted the young man's insatiable desire for knowledge, believing it was simply youthful exuberance and eagerness. All but Master Vrook shared the sentiment, for Vrook was wary of this desire for knowledge. But then again, Vrook was always quick to criticize when it came to the lure of the dark side. The youngling studied and learned much, in particular studying force bonds and other uncommon force powers during his time as a Padawan. With time, alongside his friend Alec, he achieved the rank of Jedi Knight. At this point in time, he would presumably have been in his late twenties. The two young men became acknowledged among the most promising members of the Jedi Order, although Alec was commonly referred to as the second of the two. Meanwhile, the first would be recognized for his charisma, as well as his power and skill. But Revan, when he had learned all he could, had other masters, that fooled Ja and other Jedi on other planets. He learned from each, but in the end, he turned back to me. When he realized there was nothing more to be learned from the Jedi except how one could leave them forever. Even though young Revan talked to Kreia and intended to leave the Order, he did not do so yet. 